Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Clash Your Clan. This is JL. Today, I'm back to my own clan because I want really want to show you some great replay from FWS Master, cause uh, he's really great on giant and wizard strategy on uh three starting Taha tents. However, he actually came back two days ago and he did not join any clan war. So so far, he's still at uh, so not joining the clan war mode. Here's FWS, but um. Hopefully by next two or he will show us great replays. But at this time, no, both FWS and Mathrog they're not showing anything. So um, I came back and I was pretty disappointed. Now see they're attacking. So I'm going to show you some Tanha nines instead of Tanha tens. We did have some great Tanha tens attack, but it was all um, gold lava loom. Unless you guys love to watch gold lava loons. But they are pretty much very hard to control it, and and I don't like that strategy. I like the giant and wizard. I love it. So uh, instead of that, I'm showing some great replay from our town hall nights, and including both airs and the ground troops. So let's see first. All right. So this is a um again. This is a uh, symmetrical and it's NT3 star base design. As long as you see the town hall is now in the center. To be protected, and they protect the heroes and clan castle. That means this is anti three star base design. And in addition, if you see tons of space in the center, then you can also guess um, this is an anti go hog rider as well. But I can tell that the giant bomb is at uh, between the air defense and expos, and maybe between. Like next to this wizard tower, but it's it has a lower chance to be that. So um, so far you can only guess the giant bombs in those two places. Otherwise, it won't be any other possible place. So this base design is pretty easy to three start with the gold hog riders. So if I were the attacker, I will definitely going to attack from this side, a the eight o'clock side, or. I will attack from the 5 o'clock side. Maybe this is another potential place of double joint bomb. But uh, uh, I will attack from 7. That's my best spot. Let's see. Okay, he did attack from the 7 o'clock or 8. Maybe close to 9. So around that corner. So, uh, okay, the giant is coming in at 7 o'clock. And 3 wall breakers going to break through it. So he did not break through it at first because he want the wizard to clean up a little bit. Oh, he actually did not have his hero, the king. Barbarian king, he did not have that. If he has that, that if he had that, then it will be a lot easier. So that was a um, kind of um, not the perfect attack. But it's better than without. Uh, okay, if he can three star this base without uh, Archer, not Archer King. I'm sorry, without Barbarian King, then you can three star this guy with maybe level fifteen heroes instead of thirty. Yeah, I guess correct. The giant bomb was next to the Archer Queen. The second giant bomb was yes next to the Wizard Tower. As you can see, because the wizard tower, uh, the place where they look, uh, they place the drama is pretty bad. That's why they only step on them one by one, instead of two together. Okay, since two bombs are stepped on, and there's not much risk. And it's pretty much it without the king, and you can still do a three star attack for Taha 9. The requirements of heroes, especially the king, is not as high as uh, the archer queen. The archer queen is really needed. If you don't have archer queen, is um, you pretty much lose and lose the hope for whole for three star. But for Taha 10, if you don't have any hero, there's no way you can three star. Alright, let's look at the next one, and let's see. Okay, I first seen, I see the space between 
these two, the air defense and the wizard tower. I see giant bombs over there, giant bombs over here. And those two places are potential giant bomb. If I were the attacker, I will use the ground tube attack from this side, where I can break one layer of wall and then jump in. And then I will step on giant bomb and kill the archer queen. So, and then I'm gonna use one giant or two on this side at 5 o'clock with a three to five hog rider, three hog rider each. One's on this cannon, the other one, the other set of hog rider will be on this archer tower. And then I will put one or two on top, like that. So it's pretty simple to three start with the uh, ground tube. So some people request me to do the air attack. So actually, this is an air attack. So if you decide to use air attack, again, the attacking side is pretty much similar. Um, if I were the attacker, I would pretty much attack from the bottom side, the six o'clock directions. At this o'clock, this side, you may going to have chance to take down two air defense. And other than that, more importantly, you can take down this air sweeper expo and wizard tower. Remember, wizard tower expo and air sweeper they are second most important defense that gave balloons and air tubes like a big threat thing. so uh, and also archer towers as well so it's better to attack from the 6 o'clock if you're going to use the air attack so uh, he actually decided to attack from 5 which is pretty good now it's now it's very important that where you going to locate your jump spell if you jump, yeah, there you go. You're going to locate it in the middle at 6 o'clock direction so that your golems will step on. Not only golems, your heroes will go there. So that they, they this jump spell pretty much going to lead where your troops going. And it is very important and to locate your jump spell on the right spot. There you go. This king is taking the air defense down. And now it's air sweeper time. Alright, so the time matter, you have to release your Hog Riders, not Hog Riders, I'm sorry, Lava Hound and Balloons. Remember, one balloon, one, two balloons per tower. This is, like, I haven't said this for a long time because not many air attack, I haven't shown, like, balloon attack for a long time, I put it this way. So that some people, uh, some of my audience watch my later video don't see air attack because I'm kind of tired of this air attack and it's so hard to control and I failed it many times and I decided to not going to use it because it's it's hard to control them and they fly wh wherever they want and it's, it's really not easy but for Town Hall 9 it's a lot easier compared to Town Hall 10 because I'm Town Hall 10 that's why I don't like the air attack that much and that was a pretty good attack and remember um, two balloons per tower that's the secret for air attack because your balloon can now go fast but now with the haste spell it's actually easier for tower 9 to 3 star with the air attack all right so let's go continue for the next one and this one was like the first one I have show you guys and it's pretty much similar to that one and but you don't see places for giant bomb in the center. You only see uh, one place right here. So if I were attacker, I was definitely going to attack from this side. And that's it. That's the end of this game. I don't know where, which side he had decided. I must be there. If not, uh, I don't know where else should be the best place. Alright, he decided to attack from the 9 o'clock. I think this... Archer Queen going to walk a little bit toward 10 o'clock. Oh, okay, he decided to walk through 6 o'clock. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure like where he's trying to do, but he's trying to attack from that side. Okay, this jump spell actually going to go to the wizard side. I'm sorry, fast forward too much. So, um... He knew we're on a giant bomb. That's for sure. 
but um, I do, he may be using the jump spell to jump over dead places so that um, he does not necessarily have to attack from the 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock direction. So instead of actually a, attacking from that side, he decided to go from, through 6 o'clock direction and put a jump spell like close to that box so that you can jump over to that box in which you will be stepped on those bo those places anyway right there so that your hog rider will be saved so uh, this space is actually pretty easy to 3 star because you already know where are the giant bombs there you go Uh, if you've been attacking like Taha Nines and watching my videos over and over again, and you can use my the strategy I told you guys every time to guess where are the giant bomb, a uh, base such like that it's really easy to be three starred and you don't have to test. Like what do you mean test? Some people uh, using uh, the some actually clan they use a uh, uh, like little account actually to attack them first. And to to test where are the giant bomb, or you don't have to wait somebody attack first to test out where are the bombs, and they fail for two start, then you can try three start. That actually saves a lot of your clan attack. Okay, this base design is pretty much um, a box base design, which is designed for talent ten, not for talent nines. Every time when I see someone as a talent nine using this base design. Is going to be a fail. This basic design now it can be really easy attack by a uh, giant and wizard attack strategy. Uh, not only giant and wizard and also pure witches, like maybe two columns with uh, fifteen witches or thirteen, and that will be enough to three star this base. And also this base can be attacked by air attack, which you can. Um, Use one golems with your heroes taking down this side of the air defense and archer queen, and then one lava hunt with uh, four balloons to take down this air defense. And then the rest of the your lava hunt and balloons just goes straight from five o'clock to six uh, to ten o'clock and just go straight. And then that's it, they will be three star. And that's why there are many, many strategies to 3 star this kind of base. So it's old design. And I really do not recommend for Town 9 using this. For Town 10, it's okay, not that bad because you're Inferno Towers. So for Town 9, it's mm, not recommended at all. Okay, he's luring out the Clan Castle too. And. Now the poison spell is good if you only want to two star the base, like to three star. How you can see how much time he wasted. Actually, it was like about fifteen seconds on the clan castle troop, and still you did not kill them. But the good thing is you can take down a lot of hit point from a dragon, and you can take down balloons as well. Okay, he decided to use two golems and two witches and heroes as well to attack from this side and uh, this is not that hard to 3 star because there, this base design you can put double giant bomb. So that's good thing about if you use go hog riders. So you can use the air attack, you can use go hog riders, you can use giant and wizards, you can also use witches. So this base design is no more good anymore. Like no more good for Town Hall 10 and also Town Hall 9. It was very popular before. If you uh this is anti go wipe design for sure. If you decide to use golems and Pekka, <laughs> this base design will making you getting one start or maybe zero start. So it's this base design is designed for people who actually don't um don't actually go to Google or YouTube to search a better strategy for Town Nines and they only knows go wipe. Go wipe because that's the most popular one and people are satisfied with two start. 
I don't know. Um, I don't think anybody, nobody wants to get three star. It's just if you are talent seven, you always three star people. Talent eight, you may be talent nine. It's rarely, and talent ten is almost impossible. And that's really like making. Why would you like try to find another way to, uh, to get three star instead of okay, uh, go wipe? It's kind of no brain strategy. Is you pretty much put down your golems and wall breakers, wizards behind, and then pekas in the middle, and your heroes, and that's pretty much it. And you raise spells, jump spells, free spell, and that's it. You wait for your best. Like that's kind of um, it's not that much fun if you keep using go wipe all the time, right? So it's find another strategies. And all the troops there for you to find the best way to put them together, and this this is how how this game is. It's not only one troop design. You can design and make it make anything happens basically. All right, this is pretty much it. Pretty much it about this replays and this video. I'm sorry, and I talking too much about the um. Something else about the gold wipe because I no more using that since I was since I hit town ten. I no more using gold wipe anymore, even for two star. I it feels like gold wipe it's not working as much as uh, maybe a year ago when the gold wipe like when the town ten came out. No more than a year ago when the town ten came out uh, for a little while and the heroes are super power overpowered. And back the time, Go White was pretty good, and you can oh, pretty much 90% to 2 start and have like 30% chance to 3 start. But now, not anymore. And after that, people already find other way. Alright, still. I'm still talking about this. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.